think about some of your credentials. You're a second generation immigrant, you're a minority, you're a woman, and you're a conservative Republican. Now those four don't often occur in the same sentence. America has to learn how to become an inclusive meritocracy. How are we gonna do that and how are Republicans going to do that? So I think two things. First of all, we need to see more women. And the only reason we don't see more women is because women don't run. There's nothing harder. It's, we're actually very good at it because we know how to balance, we know how to prioritize, and we believe that whatever you do, you have to do it right. And so I think women make fantastic elected officials um, because they do know how that balance is. From the Republican standpoint, we have to go places we've never gone before. We can't just sit in GOP circles. We need to go to, whether it's colleges, whether it's um, different groups of people, we have to go where they go. We, and we don't tell them you should be Republican. We listen to them. And when we listen to them, we tell them what we think, and we always find out we have more in common than not. And that's the goal of what the Republican Party has to start doing from this day forward is, you know, I'm Indian American. I can go into an Indian American room. They're probably all Democrats, but they're conservative, they're business people, they're well-educated, and the reason they're all Democrats is because no one has ever gone and listened to them. And if you just listen, then they suddenly realize that you have a lot in common.